and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelsons. And tonight, we're happy to include the newest member of the Nelson family, June Blair Nelson, who, as you probably know, is Mrs. David Nelson. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is brought to you by Green Mint Mouthwash, the modern mouthwash discovery that stops bad breath three ways better. Your mouth tastes so minty clean, minty fresh, you know your breath is safe. Thanks for a wonderful evening, Ted. Uh, okay, Penny. I'll be seeing you. Night, Ted. What's wrong with me, anyway? What's wrong, Penny? Maybe it's your breath. You should use new green mint mouthwash. It stops oral bad breath three ways better than ordinary antiseptics. Stops mouth odor in seconds. Penetrates 37% better. Freshens your breath. Green Mint is activated with exclusive chloroquet, so it stops mouth odor not just from germs, but from smoking, telltale beverages, even onions. Green Mint penetrates 37% better, gives more deep cleaning power even when mixed with water. And Green Mint's wonderful minty taste freshens your breath. Your mouth feels so minty fresh, you know your breath is safe. So effective it's used by over 10,000 dentists. Get Green Mint, best tasting mouthwash ever. Are these yours or David's? Well, they're David's. This shirt is his, too. Oh. Well, there's a button off this. I'll sew it on later. Wait a second, Mom. Don't you think you ought to let June do that? Well, why, for goodness sakes? Well, after all, she is his wife. You don't want to hurt her feelings. Oh, I don't think she'll mind. Who wants to get back from a honeymoon and find a bunch of shirts with the buttons off of them? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, I wonder what happened to you two. Oh, we're just packing up David's things. I thought I'd take him over to the apartment before he and June got back. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, by the way, we got a card from him. Oh, good. Wait a second. This is your handwriting, isn't it? Yes, it is. I gave him one of those multiple choice cards and addressed it to us. I figured it was the only way we're going to hear from him. <laughs> Probably right. Arrive safely. Check. Having a wonderful time. Check. Uh, notice they crossed out, wish you were here. <laughs> Match. Uh, when are they supposed to get back? Uh, sometime tomorrow afternoon. I'll take this stuff over there in the morning. Hey, wait a second. They're not so fast. Oh, don't worry, Pop. I rescued all your ties. If you want them, they're on my tie rack. <laughs> <laughs> that figures. Do you want me to take some of the wedding gifts over there when I go? No, that's all right, dear. Your dad and I will do it in the morning. Well, I could do it. I'm going over there anyway. No, that's all right, really. Well, okay. See, uh, your mother wants to go over there so she can supervise the job. You know, open up all the gifts and figure out where everything goes. I do not. I just want to make sure nothing gets broken. Well, I'll take this stuff downstairs. I hope I got everything. Oh, here. Don't forget this. Oh, I should say not. That's the first picture June ever gave him. Oh, oh, wait a second, Mom. He may want this, but he won't want these. Susan? <laughs> Linda? Patty? You almost planted a bomb here. <laughs> oh, welcome to the honeymoon cottage. <laughs> Oh, doggone it. What's the matter? Well, uh, David gave me a key and I left it home. Oh, well, I think they left another one under the mat there. Oh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Wally and his practical jokers have been here. A happy new year. <laughs> Go ahead, dear. Uh, wait a minute, aren't you forgetting something? Well, like what? Like you're supposed to carry the bride over the threshold. Oh, no, that's just the first time. This time you're supposed to carry me over the threshold. I'll give you a break. I'll let you carry me piggyback. Well, uh, why don't you carry me piggyback? Or, or carry me fireman's carry. You used to be a Girl Scout, didn't you? Are you suggesting that I've gained weight? Or haven't you got any muscles left? That did it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I hope you'll be very happy. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. I didn't know they got another pair of candlesticks. They got five pairs. That makes a pair of candlesticks for each percolator. Oh, this is just darling. And here's a perfect place for it. 
Uh, look, uh, Harriet, don't you think you ought to let June decide where she wants to put this stuff? Well, looks nice there, don't you think? Well, okay, you're the mother-in-law. Well, I'm just trying to get things organized. I'm sure they'd want to come back and find things in a mess. Uh, here's an interesting little item. What is it? Well, I don't know. I've been trying to figure this out ever since the wedding. You don't suppose it's a grease gun, do you? <laughs> What's the number on it? 16. I'll get the list. It's a donut maker. You could have fooled me. You know, they got a lot of nice things, but they sure could use a few practical gifts. They didn't get much for the kitchen. Well, they got all those percolators. Yes, but no pots and pans, not even a frying pan. Well, he could use one of the percolators for boiling eggs. Look, we've got a lot of extra pots and pans at the house. Why don't you run back and get some while I straighten things up here? Okay. Oh, and you better get some sheets and pillowcases. Okay. And some towels. Okay. Oh, and some cups and saucers. Okay. And the vacuum cleaner. Oh, would you leave the door open for me, Rick? Can I help you with anything? Oh, uh, yeah, there's some towels and sheets and a broom in the dining room. Would you take them out to the car for me, please? Okay. kitchen look yeah, very nice well at least it's enough to get them started yeah you did a good job the uh, only thing though you don't think the kids will object to our giving them all these pots and pans do you well no of course not why should they after all we're not giving them to them we're just lending them to them till they get settled yeah well that's what your mother said and this is one of her pans <laughs> well now I think that looks pretty nice even if I do say so myself yeah it looks great are you all set? Yeah, don't forget the vacuum cleaner. Oh, uh, where is it? It's in the bedroom. Here, I'll take that out of the car. Oh, thank you. Well, that didn't last long, did it? You can say that again. <laughs> you know, that was a good idea of yours. You mean fixing up the apartment? Yeah, it's going to be a nice surprise for the kids. I wonder. What do you mean, you wonder? It was your idea, and it was a good one. Well, I thought it was, but I'm not so sure now. There's nothing worse than meddling parents, you know. What are you talking about? Well, I've been worrying about it all the way home. We still have time to go back and put everything back in the boxes. <laughs> you must be kidding. No, I'm not. And the more I think about it, I'm sure we've made a mistake. We shouldn't have done it. Oh, come on now. No, I mean it. I'm not going to start out by being a typical mother-in-law. Well, that, uh, well, that's ridiculous. We just fixed the place up. We can't go back there and tear everything apart. We can if we hurry. Come on. No, no, no. Wait a second, Harriet. Do you remember when we got back from our honeymoon, both your mother and my mother pitched in and helped us, and we were darn glad they did. The kids are different nowadays. Well, people keep saying that, but they really aren't. Maybe a little smarter. And a little more independent. Hi. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi, Your apartment Rick. looks very nice. Oh, did you go back there? Uh, yeah, I had a hunch you'd forget to reset the booby traps. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, here they are. Dave and June just drove up. No, thank you, dear. No, thank you. No, thanks, Rick. No, thanks. It certainly is nice to have you kids back again. Oh, well, thanks, Mom. It's nice to be back. Gee, we had a wonderful time, but we're kind of anxious to get settled in our new apartment. Oh, uh, did you stop by the apartment? Yeah, we did, but we couldn't get in. Well, uh, don't you have a key, Dave? Yeah, I thought I left it under the mat, but uh, evidently I didn't. I knew my husband must have one fault. He's absent-minded. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I have the key. Uh, Rick gave it to me, and I forgot to put it back under the mat. Here's the one who's absent-minded. Are you over there, Pop? Uh, yeah, your mother and I took the wedding gifts over. Oh, good. Gee, thanks. You know, all you had to do was ask the superintendent if you wanted to get in. Or were you over there, too? Well, uh, yeah, I thought I'd take your clothes over there. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. Well, I guess we better get going. Well, uh, what's your hurry? Well, as Junie said, we're kind of anxious to get over there and get everything settled. You know how it is. There's so much to be done. Well, uh, you might be surprised at how easy it'll all be. Oh, I don't mind the work. In fact, I'm looking forward to it. And we don't want anybody to help us. We want to do it all ourselves. 
We've been doing a lot of talking about it. We have it all planned out, and we know exactly how we want it to look. Well, uh, that, that's nice. I know this sounds awful, but I can hardly wait to get at the wedding gifts. You know, I can't remember what some of them are. Well, they're, they're all very nice. Of course, you were a little short on some of the practical items. Uh, I kind of figured that, so we stopped off on the way and got some food and a lot of stuff for the kitchen, things like that. Oh, and don't forget the sheets and the pillowcases. Oh, yeah, we now own some new sheets and pillowcases and a charge account at the Emporium. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope you don't mind if we run along and get started. Oh, well, uh, I just thought of something. Would you wait a minute? Pardon me. Uh, uh Harry, uh, pardon me. Uh, Harriet. Well, well, what's new? <laughs> what do you mean, what's new? Well, you know, what's new? See, I told you we never should have done it. What are we going to do now? Well, we just have to tell them, I guess. Tell them what? We were over there meddling in their affairs? We weren't meddling. We were just trying to be helpful. That's what you said before. Well, the original idea was yours. But that's beside the point. What do we do now? Well, do you think we have time to rush over there and put everything back the way it was? You mean to repack all the stuff? Sure, maybe we can get Ricky to stall them. Well, we can try. I'll send them back here and you tell them. I wasn't sure whether some of the shirts were yours or are mine. Oh, uh, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Uh, Rick, uh, your mother wants to see you for a minute. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, what's new? <laughs> what's up? Listen, your father and I are going to go back and repack all the stuff. You've got to stall them for at least a half an hour. How? Well, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. Well, where will I tell them you've gone? I know, you leave that up to me, too. Tell your father I'm waiting for you. Okay. I, I wasn't sure whether some of the shirts were yours or mine. <laughs> uh, Pop, Mom wants to see you again. Oh, uh, pardon me, please. Sure. Well, uh, nothing's new, and what the heck is going on around here? What are you talking about? You know darn well what I'm talking about. What's going on out in the kitchen? Oh, uh, why don't we all go into the den? There's something in there I'd like to show June. Uh, come on, June, right this way. Well, at least this gives you some idea of the family you married into. You got the key? Right here. Oh, Ozzy. Harriet, I don't have time to carry you across the threshold again. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> I tried I know, to warn I, you. I, I know. <laughs> and uh, this is Uncle Charlie. I, he isn't really an uncle, just a good friend of the family's. Uh, we always call him Uncle. Oh, and here's Uncle Harold. He's my mother's uncle, so that makes him our great uncle, I guess. And he's your great uncle, too. That is by marriage. You are married, aren't you? Look, Rick. Oh, I've never seen the license. <laughs> What's this all about? Oh, isn't this a beautiful picture of my mother? Oh, yes, it's lovely. I've seen that one before. Well, that'll be enough of that. Come on, June, we gotta get going. Well, wait, can't you stick around a little longer? The folks will be right back. Well, uh, tell them we'll see them later. Yeah, we got a lot of things to do, Rick. Well, I say, as long as you're here, you might as well say hello to the neighbors. I, I know the Randolphs would love to see you. Well, tell them we'll see them later, too. Yeah, okay. Bye, Rick. Bye. Uh, keep to the right and drive slowly. Sorry, Mother, I tried. <laughs> ah, nature. Ah, If you have hay fever, take an ocean voyage. Nobody suffers from hay fever on an ocean voyage. Or take Alarest. New Alarest calms the cough, the sneeze, the tears, the runny nose, the itchy eye of allergy. Created for allergy and only for allergy. <laughs> take Alarest. Darling, I bought fresh roll on just as you told me. It did go on instantly because it's upside down, just as you said. And it is creamier than other roll-ons, just as you said. I did everything you told me. But I was still so nervous I forgot my lines in the play. Unlike some deodorants, fresh can't make you a great actress. All fresh does is keep you fresh. When you think of it.
That's quite a lot. Anything else? Just those sheets. Oh, and don't forget the broom. Oh, come on, let's get going. Uh-oh. What's the matter? Here they come. Oh, great. Now what do we do? Oh, let's duck out the back way, quick. And don't forget the broom. custom is for the groom to carry the bride across the threshold. That's what I hear. Wait a minute. What's the matter? Am I too heavy? No, it's just right. I just happened to think of something. How about that? Fine bunch of friends I have. They didn't even bother to booby trap the place. I'm glad. Come on, the coast is clear. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting something? Me? Oh, yeah. Just thought I'd take the opportunity to do that again. Thank you. I hope they last longer than the other couple. Gee, I didn't remember getting so much loot. Neither did I. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. Where will we start? Well. First, I think we better get the groceries in the kitchen. Some of this stuff has to go in the refrigerator. Wait a minute. Do we have a refrigerator? Well, I hope so. You better take a look. Surprise! <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Well, uh, the main reason we're here is because there's no back door and the porch is too high to jump off. <laughs> Kind of a long story. I'll make it as brief as possible. No, let me tell it. It's all my fault. About an hour ago, your dad and I came over here and we unpacked all your wedding gifts. And we fixed the place up so it'd be all ready for you when you came home. Well, what a nice thing to do. Gee, that's the sweetest thing I ever heard. Well, thank you, dear. That's nice of you to say that. But then we suddenly realized it wasn't quite fair to you and Dave. Oh, but gee, Mom, we would have understood. Well, we figured this is your home and you should have the fun of fixing it up any way you like. So we were putting everything back again when you came in. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, huh? You know, I think I'm going to like being a Nelson. Well, thanks. Gee, we sure appreciate all the trouble you went to. Well, at least our intentions were good. Oh, we sure were, and thanks a lot. Uh, this time we'll go out the right way. Oh, you kids stay here. You have plenty to do. Well, we'll see you later. OK. And stop worrying about us. We're better organized than you think. Bye. Bye. Don't have to worry about those kids. They'll do all right. Oh, sure. Say, did you happen to notice if they brought in any food? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sure they did. Well, I finally got the picture hung up. Oh, did you hurt your thumb? No, it's not too bad. I think I'll live. Well, I hope so. Boy, the place is really beginning to look nice. Thank you. Outside of a few extra candlesticks, I've got everything put away. I put all the clothes in the closet. I gave you the right side and I took the left, if that's okay. Sure. I can switch them around if you want. No, oh, that's fine if you'll help me make the bed. Sure, it's a deal. Have you seen the sheets I bought? No, I haven't. How do you like them? Oh, yeah, they look very nice. Of course, I don't know too much about sheets. Well, I'll have you know they're contour fitted and they're very nice for kale. I got a good price on them, too. Oh, sounds good. Gee, they don't seem to be wide enough. These are for twin beds. You should have kept the sheets your mother brought over. Oh, don't worry about it, honey. We can always get more sheets. Maybe we can figure out some way of doubling them up or something. June, uh, where are the glasses? 
Oh, they're right over here. Yeah, it's funny how you get used to things. Mom always keeps them on this side. Oh, well, I could change them. <laughs> That's okay. I can drink left-handed. Would you like some ginger ale? Oh, no thanks. This is fine. Well, how about some ice? Yeah, that sounds good. Hey, it's not frozen. It's not even cold. Yeah, that's funny. No wonder we forgot to plug the refrigerator in. Oh, all the peas. Oh, this is awful. They're all thawed out. Well, that's okay. We can have them for dinner. All six boxes of them? <laughs> six? Well, they were having a special on them. I was just trying to save you some money. You said you liked peas. Well, yeah, I do. Of course, after the night, I may be a little tired of them. Okay, I'm going to start dinner now. Can I help? I don't know. What can you do? Well, I can stand around and get in the way. Not in here. This is my territory. Why don't you go put on your slippers or read the paper or whatever husbands are supposed to do? Okay, if you tell me what we're having for dinner. Well, pot roast, mashed potatoes, and a lot of peas. <laughs> Sounds just like home. This may come as a surprise to you, but this is your home. Oh, so it is. And remember, don't burn the biscuits, even if it is traditional. We're not having biscuits, and I'll have you know I'm a very good cook. Okay. Just remember, in case of fire, dial 's fixing the plug on this lamp I didn't realize you were so talented <laughs> it's not much of a job how's the pot roast coming well I ran into a little difficulty what do you mean well, well now don't get mad oh of course not well come on I'll show you see what I mean it doesn't fit <laughs> don't you laugh either <laughs> well, why'd you try to put it in that little pan don't we have a bigger one no, that's the biggest one I bought. They were on special. I'm awfully sorry. Oh, that's all right, honey. We can cut it up and make a stew out of it. We've got potatoes and peas, lots of peas. Well, I wanted to ask you about the potatoes. I'll eat them any way you want to fix them. No, I mean, I can't find them. Well, maybe they rolled into the sink. Oh, I guess I just forgot them. Gee, and I had them on the list, too. Well, maybe they're in the refrigerator. No, there's nothing in here but this fudge. Oh. What's the matter? That was a chocolate layer cake. <laughs> I'm making a mess out of everything. Oh, no, you're not, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Nothing's going right. Well, sure it is. Look, I, I got this lamp fixed. See? <laughs> You know, actually, we're pretty lucky. How do you figure that? Well, we've got five cents of candlesticks. <laughs> no bath mat. What's this? They don't have a bath mat. Harriet, I'm sure they'll live whether they have a bath mat or not. I know it. I just can't help thinking about it. Well, those sweet potatoes sure look good. How come you cook so many of them? I can't get used to Dave not being around. I wonder what they're having for dinner. Oh, probably champagne and caviar. Will you stop worrying about them? I'm not worrying about them and stop picking on me. Did you call Ricky? Uh, yeah, holy smokes. Do you think that's big enough? There's enough there to feed an army. Say, here's an idea. How about inviting Dave and June over for dinner? Hey, this is their first night home. Well, that's just the point. They've probably been so busy straightening things around, they haven't had time to think about dinner. Oh, come on. We can have them over here tomorrow night. June's probably cooking her first dinner. What's so funny? I was just thinking about the first dinner you cooked. Maybe we should invite them over. <laughs> Come on, 
now. It wasn't as bad as all that. Hey, wait a second. I, I have an idea. Will this keep in the oven? Sure. Well, let's take a run over there and casually drop in on them and see how things are going. If they look like they'd appreciate an invitation to dinner, we'll ask them. Sort of play it by ear. How does that sound? Sounds good. Let's put this back in the oven. Boy, I'm starved. Hey, this looks good. Hey, where are you going with that? <laughs> We're too late. They probably had to eat out. No, I hear music. Ozzy, what are you doing? Kidding, and I guessed it right. Champagne and caviar. What's more ginger ale? <laughs> Did I give you enough pee? Oh, yeah, I have plenty, thanks. I love you. I love you too. I really am a good cook. You wait and see. Who cares? <laughs> this is the way I looked a few months ago. My hair was dull and gray, and my life seemed dull and gray. Hate that gray? Wash it away. Wash years away with fabulous new Loving Care Hair Color Lotion by Clairol. New Loving Care colors only the gray. Washes it away without changing your natural hair color. So easy. Used about once a month, Loving Care washes away gray and keeps it away without changing your natural hair color. Gives hair a nice, lively sheen. Looks so fresh and natural. Makes your husband feel younger, too, just to look at you. Never rubs off, even in the deepest shades. So if you hate that gray, wash it away with loving care. Not a tint, better than a rinse. Hairdressers call it a fountain of youth for graying hair. Loving Care Hair Color Lotion by Clairol. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was brought to you by... New Loving Care Hair Color Lotion by Clairol. Colors only the gray without changing your natural hair color. <laughs>